How you doing guys? So uh, here it is, it's Wednesday evening. Uh, how was the meeting? I you didn't attend. You were at the meeting, though, right? I got here. Yeah, I just found yeah it. spokes council meeting. And uh, what's your name? My name is Charlie. And uh, where were you late Monday night at 1 a.m.? I think I was in jail. You were in jail. Okay. Okay, I'll lock up. Can you talk to so, your finance? I've been in jail for the on? past um, thirty something yeah. hours. So you just got out of jail. This is true. Okay. So at 1 a.m., that's when the cops arrived. To Zagati Park. Where were you? Were you were you in a tent or what? I was actually sewing up uh, someone's jacket. Um, they had a patch that was just safety pinned on, and so I sewed it on there. And I actually had to break the thread off the needle and go inside the park uh, so that I could um, pack up my tent, put it on my backpack that I uh, I, I padlocked to me. Um, Charlie was a librarian there, by the oh, way. Oh, you were a librarian, okay. Yeah, well, he so, ended up being the librarian like my, the last my, week. My working groups aren't as, aren't as clear as maybe they are with other people. I don't really know, but I worked with the library, and I did work with Community Watch, which is what like that has, has to do with. And, um, mainly, and I did other things. I cleaned um, stuff. I thought I was useful. <laughs> Well, he was useful when he was over in my area all the time. Right. So, Charlie, so what I'm saying is the cops arrived about 1 a.m. And when did you first realize that this was a police raid? When I, when I heard people yell, get out of your tents, wake up, there's a raid, over and over. And, and where were you when, when you heard those, those <coughs> yells? I was on the, uh, on the other side of the library on the sidewalk. He's got the smallest tent in there. Oh, okay. He, he, on purpose. Okay. <laughs> I tried to give him a bigger tent, he wouldn't take it. He wouldn't so, take the bigger tent. No, I wanted the little tent that I actually bought with the, wanted some of the only money I had in the world because I did some computer work and I got uh, some shoes and a hundred dollars and I spent it on a tent. <laughs> and that's the only money I had. <laughs> All right. Okay, and then at 1 a.m. or so when the police arrived, where were you? Um, I was sitting on my porch where it's a built-up structure that I built with um, pallets that I got from all around with uh, Charlie and, and all Anthony and everybody else that uh, was in the neighborhood. Um, and we built up a nice structure that would hopefully sustain all of us through the winter. And as they came in, um, we watched them come in. Some people in my community left and uh, got their stuff and split. And I just basically waited for them to come to my time. And when they came, I told them that I wasn't done. And then they, uh, and then they said, "Oh, you're done," and basically pushed me out of there. And I left like the jerk, taking you know my disco ball, the high time sign that got left for me, my the giant chair that I left, got from the security guy, and, uh, and you know whatever else I could grab. Just oh, a suggestion box. We had a big suggestion box that we put out on the curb, and I poured all the suggestions in my backpack and I got them all here. So I figured in if I went to jail, I'd read all the suggestions that people were. So how long had you been at Liberty Square? Uh, I got there around October 1st or 2nd. I came right after the large union march after everybody got arrested on uh, got arrested on the Brooklyn Bridge and then the unions all turned out. And I figured like, you know, after that everybody would feel like they shot their load and we did our big thing and that's it. And they so I knew openings would be at the park, so it was about two weeks after the event, around October 1st or 2nd. I knew once I got here I wouldn't be able to leave. And uh, I tried to join some of the working groups to stay with them, but there was too much talk and not enough action going on. So, yeah. so, so what, what was Zuccotti Park to you? What did it mean to you? It, it meant uh, people actually taking out the earplugs and having a conversation, an intelligent conversation about you know, what's going on in the world today and tackling the real problems and real issues and not sitting there telling you, oh, things will never change, you're just a dreamer, you know, you don't, you know, you better just look out for yourself. What it meant was actually going after those dreams of uh, actually changing the world. Real hope what, what was the, your tent, what was it to you? It was, it wasn't mine, it was everybody's. Anybody that needed a place to stay, I gave it to them. And what happened to it? Thank you. 
it got destroyed. They destroyed everything. It destroyed everything. Yeah, and how do you they, feel about they, that? They didn't come through slow search and stuff. They came in and they wanted to clear it out and destroy everything they could before the morning sun rose up and, and they wanted to get everybody out of there and have that park spick and span and clean, which it was clean. It just had a lot of tents and uh, structures and stuff to support the, uh, to support, you know, life sustaining things you need like shelter, uh, waterproof tent that we and, didn't and have. And bike powered energy. And bike powered energy, yeah. I mean, right, I see. Yeah. So. It, it was a very nice community. So did you lose some of your personal property? I lost a lot of things. You lost a lot of things. And, and backpack. Your backpack? I had off of me with a knife by a police officer while they had me on the ground and um, handcuffs that were put on the wrong way. That when you say they were put on the wrong way, what happened? Instead of, I'll demonstrate, instead of having my hands like this, I had my hands like this. Right. Uh, I was able to do like this, but that's the only movement that I had for... Um, well, well, that was a pretty tight? It was unbelievably tight. Oh, the, the, pe people have been documenting their, uh, their marks and stuff. I don't know, is... Uh, Charlie's I don't know how high a camera that is. But I have no feeling in this thumb, and very little feeling in this finger. So and you think you might have some nerve damage? Yeah. Uh, yeah. What? I, I guess. I, have a I don't know. Oh, yeah, I think so. Anybody else want to show any uh, bruises? Anthony, you want to show me bruise? Yeah. Okay, you don't want you just you don't want to show your face, just uh, your body bruise. This is uh, what happened when I. Uh, okay, so I'll just shoot it over this here. This is what the police gave me. Oh. For, and uh, and what happened there? What did you do to get uh, that? Well, well, I was on the floor. Uh, I was not getting up because I knew I was going to get arrested. So I was going to make the police earn their money. Uh, and basically, the the cops felt that it was necessary to beat me with a a metal police baton to to uh, to in order to arrest me. So I just want to show everybody what I sacrificed, what I got out of defending that park. And and you were defenseless, innocent protest, just just on the ground, and you got beaten like that. Yes. Okay. How many times have you been arrested for this movie? Three times. Okay. He's been arrested three times. Three times, it's okay. Three times in one week. And I, I've only been arrested once ever. And how long were you in jail, Charlie? 30, 30 mid-30s hours. So around 35 hours or so. And what were the conditions like? <laughs> Deplorable. Well, I've been to a couple of jails. I, I, and New York jails are some of the worst jails I've ever seen in my life. For, they, for didn't spend a, they didn't spend a million dollars fixing up these jails like they did the country ones outside, so mm. the New York jails are really bad. Yeah. Did you, I guess at least you had some camaraderie, right? Yeah, for me to characterize it, I don't think I could do so without joking about it, which sort of speaks to how bad it really was. And Char Charlie's totally passive, he's non-violent. I've seen I'm, people speak have, fights with I've him. I've had an oath to non-violence for years now. I, I do mind. You know. He dresses weird, but no sure. <laughs> Okay. But he's a quiet, and when he says something, it's usually you know pretty profound. Okay. So when did you actually just get out of jail? Oh, not more than five hours ago. Then and I don't keep track of time. Okay. Well. And when, do you know where you'll be sleeping tonight? Not really. I'm wide awake. I slept most of the time in jail. Okay. So you did have some sleep yeah, in jail. I'll hang out and show up at Scotty tomorrow. The way I I do every day. <laughs> okay. And. How do you feel about the fact that there is no more, you know, Zuccotti Park the way you knew it? Physically, because it's a physical thing that the tents are gone and that the park is gone. I think the barriers are obscene. I think the police presence is obscene. Uh, I think that this can only be an opportunity to move forward because time only goes in one direction. Yep. Thanks. I'm going to give you an extra. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thanks.